Hello, Internet viewers. I'm a fairly odd gamer. You know, it's not that easy talking about licensed franchises, especially ones that ultimately get turned into video games. And surprisingly, I rarely talk about a game that's based on a toy franchise. In fact, the last time I talked about a toy franchise was Hot Wheels when I reviewed Hot Wheels Velocity X four years ago. You might argue that it was Toy Story, but it started as a movie that centered around toys, so technically, it doesn't count. Speaking of which, the toys that I mostly grew up with were Hot Wheels and Legos. You know, before I got hooked into video games. But how about a toy franchise that's mainly targeted for girls? Or at least of a younger age. Whatever, let's talk about Barbie. Like Hot Wheels, Barbie is the property of Mattel. And get this, Barbie actually predates Hot Wheels by 9 years. On March 9th, 1959. It was the creation of former president Ruth Handler with a German doll named Bill Lilly as its inspiration, and would eventually become Mattel's highest selling toy in history. Since then, she has appeared in numerous forms of media ranging from movies, including appearances in the Toy Story films, TV shows, live appearances, and even an upcoming live action movie set to release next year. But as always, with a great franchise comes multiple video game tie ins. They range anywhere from the Commodore 64, NES, Game Boy, Genesis, PS1, and even on the PC. However, the game I'll be reviewing today relies on Barbie and transportation. Not from her convertible, but from a horse. Who said anything about a horse? Well, this will give you the answer. Barbie Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue for the original Xbox, a console I currently don't own. But luckily this game is backwards compatible with the Xbox 360, so at least I'll hope it's not lost. But is this game any good? Let's find out. After seeing the Barbie logo, we see that the game was published by Vivendi Universal Games and developed by Blitz Games, which also made the console games based on the Fairly Odd Parents. And don't worry, I'll get to these games eventually. It starts off with, of course, Barbie riding a horse. Too bad she ain't riding off into the sunset. Hi, welcome to Barbie Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue. Thanks, Tile Card. So Barbie and her friends, Teresa and Christy, take a break from the city as they drive via Doom Buggy? To Silver Valley Stables, where she meets Mrs. Hepburn, who I guess runs the stable. You made it just before the rain. Rain? But it's such a beautiful day. It's the horses. They always know when a storm's brewing. And what a shock! A storm arrives as a gust of wind pushes open the gate, but the thunder and lightning scare the horses and foals, making them bolt out of the paddock. The next morning comes as a despair Mrs. Hepburn tells Barbie about the missing horses, but Barbie decides to rescue the horses via trails while her friends help her out. But before we start the game, you not only have to dress Barbie appropriately, I don't know what to make of my horses to be honest, as well as one horse named Blossom. Luckily, you can redress the horse to your liking. And in my case, her mane looks like a cobra, her saddle looks like a 9mm handgun, and a blanket looks like it was woven by a Navajo. Plus, the brittle matches the main color perfectly. Well, after choosing your horse, you get a tutorial on getting on and off the horse. Easy enough. And then you're ready to leave the stables. This leads to the first area of the game, the forest trail. In each level, you have to save a total of six foals, or baby horses, by getting off your horse, patting the foal, and walking into a safe point. Some of them are easy as all get out, while others require you to solve puzzles as well as avoiding obstacles like rolling boulders and snowballs. But we'll get to those later. Oh, and anytime Barbie rescues a foal, she calls up one of her friends via cell phone to pick up any rescued foal. There are also keys that are used to unlock these gates, coins that are used for purchasing stuff for Barbie and the horse, I guess, and pink chests that contain gift boxes and coins. And before I forget, you also have a friendship mirror that shows how trusting you are to your horse. You can raise it by paying your horse or feeding it carrots, but it can be lowered by running into animals like a porcupine or a skunk, and or getting knocked off via a low log bridge. By the way, you can distract these animals by throwing fruit at them. Woodland creatures like to eat fruit apparently. Also, you can clean your horse by either going back to the stables and cleaning it yourself, or simply have it walk into a body of water. I feel like having it walk into a body of water is much easier than going back to the stables and cleaning it yourself. It's an auto-scrolling mission in which you pick up a scrubber and scrub the horse in every way, shape, or form while trying to get the dirt off. At some point you find a clock that triggers a clock game in which you have to find all the clocks in a certain area before time runs out. Being the clock game earns you a ribbon for your horse. That's nice, I guess. Finally, you can make your horse run in order to have it jump over gaps or just to get to places faster. Throughout the majority of this game, I just had my horse run almost everywhere in this game. 
However, when Barbie is off her horse, she moves a bit too slow for me. She can climb up mountains and walls like a ladder. Did I mention that Barbie can't jump at all? Because Barbie has no ability to jump in this game. I guess the game really wants you to have Barbie on horseback. There are also one or two times in which you encounter a small pathway behind a waterfall, but you can't ride your horse through it. So therefore, you have to get off your horse and hold the horse's reins and guide your horse through that said pathway. At the end of each level, you find one of the missing horses. They can be retrieved in one of two methods, by getting close to the horse and lassoing it, or by racing one of your buddies riding a newly rescued horse, in three laps around a track. And by the way, the racing missions only happen in the second trail from each area. The level ends with a small cutscene as well as a selection screen in which you either continue to explore the trail or return to the stables. And that's about it because you pretty much do the same thing for the remaining 8 levels. Let's do some math here. There are 9 trails that Barbie has to go through. So with the missing horses at the end of each level as well as the falls scattered around each level, that means you have to rescue a total of 63 horses in this game. Oh boy. Anyway, back to the game. The Snowy Mountains Trail has, of course, snow, as well as ice physics. Uh... But at least the ice cave in the third Snowy Mountain Trail looks pretty good. This area is filled with puzzles to solve, as well as falls to rescue. And this is why I found out that Barbie has to carry one item at a time. This I don't understand. Wouldn't it be easier to have Barbie carry more than one wooden plank? Apparently not. This leads to the final area of the game, Shoreline Trail. Even though your horse can run through the water depending on the water depth, they can't go too deep into the water. It's also where you need your horse to stir up these seagulls. Hey look, a beach level! Hey dude, did I hear you mention a beach? Why yes, Tuts. Yes I did. That's awesome dude! What does it have? Beach huts? A merry-go-round? A lighthouse? Surfing grounds? Well lucky for you because it has all of them. Nice. Well, except for surfing grounds. Oh man, at least it's beautiful to look at. Yeah, you're right. The third shoreline trail, which contains almost all that Hux just mentioned, is a beautiful looking level. Come to think of it, I actually like the level design in this game. Primarily the landscape. Each of them provide an atmosphere that puts you in the mood to ride on a horseback. And for a game like this, it actually works. Yeah, it does. Well, I just wanted to see what's up. Later, dude! Excellent work, Barbie! You have found all the missing horses! Oh, thank you. The Silver Valley Gardens is now open. You can go there and play with your horse. You heard right. Finding all the horses unlocks the level inside the hub world in which you find gold coins and solve puzzles along the way, such as a clock game, and giving food to the scums while opening up all the chests. And voila, you've beaten the game. But there's still one more thing to tackle for this review, the minigames. The minigames aren't that special in my opinion. They include replaying the races from the main game, lassoing as many horses as possible, finding as many coins as possible, and suing away as many seagulls as possible. They can be played via multiplayer or solo. But yeah, there really isn't that much to talk about. Barbie Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue is a standard horse riding game with some bits of platforming. If Barbie were given the ability to jump, then I'd be singing a different tune. While I like seeing the landscape of the levels, I'm not really that keen on its gameplay, especially with controlling the horse. I get that it's supposed to be natural, but I just don't think it works for me. Plus, there are times in which I thought my controls were delayed. I don't know, maybe I wasn't feeling it, I guess. I didn't really try the other horses because I don't think there's anything different about the horses, except for the look of the horse. However, I do like the addition of solving puzzles in order to get to your objective because of the challenge aspect. And yeah, some of them were pretty challenging. Overall, it's not a bad game, but it's not a game that I would want to play again. But if you're someone who likes Barbie as well as horseback riding, then I guess this game is for you. So the next time you talk about Barbie riding a horse and someone responds with, WHO SAID ANYTHING ABOUT A HORSE?! Then make sure you tell that person this game to prove your point. And get ready for next month because I'll be reviewing games based on... Top Gun. I'm the Fairly Odd Gamer and I wish you all good luck for the rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Take care everyone. How's it going dudes? Hux Gamer here. 
Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to get notified for upcoming videos. Well said, Hux. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and some of my character writers on TikTok. And if you'd like, you can have one of my character writers do a short video for you via video commission. Links to all of those in the description below. And so, without further ado, I wish that one of my character buddies finished on the video. Oh, hello everyone. I'm Scrooge McDuck, the richest duck in the world. And I'm here because you can support this channel on Patreon. But I can assure you that you won't be wasting any money for this, because you will be rewarded for your generosity. How, you may ask? Well, how about access to the Discord server? No? Maybe your name be featured in the credits? No? Well, how about some bonus content? Like maybe a sneak preview, or perhaps an early showing of upcoming game reviews? Still not convinced? Maybe this will. I can give high rank supporters a public shout-out, like Flashfigure. At least it isn't that skinflint Glamgold. Once again, I thank you all for watching this video as well as supporting. Now if you'll excuse me, I'd better check on the boys. I don't want to see them getting in the trouble while I check on me money bin. <laughs>